Hello everyone, Neff here. And today again we have some updates, and there's quite a few today, so I'm going to run through them as fast as I can. Um, so first off, um, let's go into a game here. We'll just open up our usual map. And one of the first things you'll notice is that we have, now have lighting. So it's kind of dim in here, you know, in this room. But we have some lighting. And you might notice as well we have some actual um, momentum when we move. So when I move, I kind of drift for a second. Now, it's a bit extreme right now, but I will tone it down. But like this just means that we're no longer just moving on the spot. Like, you know, we now actually move with proper physical movement, with like, you know, acceleration and stuff. So it actually feels now like you're running around a bit more. It's a bit nice. And yeah. So let's just open the door and blast some dudes as we always do. But no, there's bats! <laughs> yeah, they kind of fly through your face. It kind of, um, it can catch you off guard sometimes. But yeah, we now have bats. Um, in fact, currently all the enemies in the level are bats. But you can see the lighting here. It's, of course, this is all done by hand per sector. But it looks nice, like it actually kind of works. It's a bit extreme there, but that's just the way I set it up. But it's, you know, has a nice effect there in the doorway and stuff. And yeah. And I really like the momentum. Actually, it helps a lot when you're running around. You feel less kind of like, you know, jagged as you run around. It's kind of nice. And yeah. So if I go through the level here. And get killed by more bats. You'll notice we also have a health meter. And if I let these guys get to me and eat my face a bit. As they will. You can see it actually goes, oh god, they're actually killing me. Run away! Run away! <laughs> now there's three of them. And yeah, let me just oozy these guys. <laughs> so yeah, you can see our meter actually goes down quite fast. Um, they are melee, you know, enemies. So they only attack you when they get right up beside you. But they kill you quite fast, especially in a group. So yeah. So there's a lot of them in that room now. I should probably reload my, my Uzi. And then just kill them all. You might notice as well that the Uzi is a lot more effective now. That's because we now have auto-aim. Um, it's only a small amount. And I talked about this before in the last video, that we are only going to have a small amount of auto-aim. This is actually quite common in the old build, like, build engine games. Some people will think this is stupid, but actually it's kind of meant to be that way. So, yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> um, so actually, let me just load up the level again. And... You might be able to see it better now. So, like, if I, say, take out my Uzi... And if I don't aim directly for them, I can... Oh, God. <laughs> they go too damn fast. Let's try it out here. Kill him first. But see, if I don't aim exactly for them, but if I'm aiming close to them, it'll still hit them, like... So it's quite useful. Like, there's another guy there. I can take out the shotgun. And if I shoot there, it still hits him. And actually, it's funny because the shotgun is a burst shot. Like, it fires about 10 shells. But it'll center the shot at him and then fire around him, you know, like in the random kind of dispersal. So, yeah. Like, it makes sense in a game sort of way. A lot of people who haven't played older games won't get this because you kind of expect to have to, you know, like, aim and that's the point of an FPS. But the point of the older FPS was less about aiming, really. And it was more down to, like, you know, ammo conservation, finding secrets and that sort of thing, and the level design. So, yeah, this is how it's meant to be. I mean, it'll be in the options anyway if you want to turn it off, so, yeah. To be honest, the mouse I test this game with is pretty crap, so it really helps to have that anyway. Um, even just for testing. And, yeah, so let's see, what else have we added? We talked about the lighting system, the auto-aim, and the momentum. Um, oh yeah, and of course we have... I'll get to that later, never mind. <laughs> I'm looking at my list here to the side. Um, I've mentioned... Well, you've seen the bats now. We now have actual, you know, flying mobs. So they are the first flying mob. And it's kind of hard to see in this level because it's flat. But if we were on a, like a 3D level, um, they would fly up and down after you. Like they fly off the ledge and stuff. So yeah. And what else? Oh yes, yeah, so we've also added liquids. Let me just go now and load up another map. I don't really have a map to show you this, so I just took like one of the maps I have to test physics and I threw in water. So we'll go into fall test. And yeah, pretty basic right now. There's no texture even. And in fact, if you go under it, it doesn't even red like render below it. So it looks strange. But it works. Physically, it works. So if I go in here, you'll notice I fall a lot slower than I should do, like down this big gap. And of course, I can actually swim, so I can go up and down, you know? So rather than just fall down, I can go up and down, I can still control myself, it all works. Now, it looks strange because there's no, like, visual effect right now. You just, it just looks like you're floating in air. But I'll add that pretty soon. And of course, it doesn't render from underneath, but that's just a simple thing to fix. But if I get up here, it makes more sense, and you bump around a bit. And you know, it feels a little more physical, a little more natural. I have to tweak the numbers a bit, but it's, it's pretty alright right now. And of course, if you have a ledge like this, you can still get up it once it's a small ledge. So yeah, that's nice. And I actually forgot to mention, I did add, I sort of added jumping at the last second. Because the physics are all physical now and they work quite well, 
and all I have to really do is just, you know, give you an impulse and you'll jump, you know, so right now it's pretty basic. If I hit space, I jump. It's a bit Mario-ish, but you know, it works. The only problem is right now, because it's sort of a realistic jump, um, if you like move and jump, you don't go straight up as high as you would. You kind of jump sideways. So it makes you go faster, but it's a bit strange, you know? So I kind of, I might actually cheat a bit there and make it a bit more game-like, just to make it feel more natural. Because even though that's more realistic, it actually feels really strange in a game. And yeah. So that's pretty much everything. Actually, one thing I haven't mentioned though is the game now has a sound system. Sadly, this is very awkward to show off because the sounds right now are, like the system is perfect, the system's in there. And it's a full 3D sound system, so it works well. Like, you can hear enemies behind you and stuff. But um, the problem is that a lot of the sound effects right now are... They're very basic. But, I mean, as well, they're at different volumes because I got them from different sources. Like, I've made some myself, and then I've used, like... Um, is it Beat Fixer for some of them? Like, for the menu sounds? Just for, like, as a test. So, um, with those... The menu sounds will be really loud, and like the normal sounds will be quite quiet, so yeah, it's annoying. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording quickly, and I'm going to show you the sounds just on their own. I won't talk over them, because it might, like, the sounds will drown me out, so yeah. And then I'll come back. So yeah, let's just do that now. Okay, yeah, so that's the sounds. Uh, I mean, as you can hear, they're pretty basic. Like, you'd be surprised the shotgun sound and the Uzi sound are actually literally from the same sound effect. I just, I basically clapped in front of my microphone and then just distorted the living hell out of it until it sounded like different things. So, yeah, I mean, I might look for actual gun sound effects. I'm aware there are some free ones out there you can use. Um, there's actually a really good library I found on Kickstarter recently, and um, it's a bunch of, like, public domain sounds, so I might use them. Um, or I might just try again myself. But yeah, the menu sounds are pretty... Like, they're alright, but they sound strange, you know? Like, it's not an epic game, so it sounds kind of odd. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I kind of like them. But I mean, apart from that, like, the way things are kind of shaping up now, like, things are working out quite well. Like, it's starting to feel like an actual old FPS now, which I like. Um, like, between the lighting and stuff. And, oh, actually, you might notice as well, I fixed a few of the bugs. Like, you no longer leave bullet holes and doors. Um, I might change that eventually, but for now that's just to stop the glitch where they, you know, hover in the midair. And as well, if I open the door, you'll notice that the textures don't freak out anymore on the sides of the doors. So yeah. When I fixed that, it was really complicated, but when I fixed I like, it's one of those things where it's like, it works, I don't care, I just go with it. Yeah, God. These damn things, they actually fly quite fast, it's kind of hard to shoot them. Um, but yeah. Once they see you, like, they just, they like, fly straight for your face, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of intimidating. Um, but yeah, and cutting them is quite hard. But yeah, I mean, things are working out quite well at the moment. Um, I should have really made another map to show all this stuff off, but you know, laziness. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so what I'm working on next, I want to, I mean, I want to do a lot of things like the swimming, like obviously the water is not really fully implemented. I want to fix that and kind of improve it. I need to change something in the map editor so I can actually have like different types of enemies per level, that sort of thing. And then there's lots of other stuff to add, so yeah. But I mean, I think for the next update, I'll th you know try out a few more guns in there just for fun, and that sort of thing. But yeah, so that's it. I'm already getting hoarse, so with that, guys, and good day.